Look, I know you're gearing up for a war with the Zakaris. I went to an art show, detective. Yeah, and you rammed the guy's head against the wall. You see what they're charging for that stuff? My kid could pay him better. What are you doing in Manhattan, Corinthos? What are you, uh, here repeating yourself? You may run poor Charles, but you got no clout here. Oh, detective, I cannot thank you enough for finding my friend. When I realized that you had taken away my dear friend in the squad car and I had absolutely no idea where, I immediately called Michael. Michael? Bloomberg. The mayor? Yes. You see, we're expected at a function tonight and, well, I could put in a good or bad word to Michael depending on whether or not Mr. Corinthos and I make it. Mr. Corinthos assaulted an innocent guy who was just looking at some paintings in an art gallery. Oh, no. Jeffrey Lambert, the man in question, tripped. I saw the whole thing. It was New Year's Eve, and as usual, Jeffrey had just a little too much to drink. Detective... Uh, Jenko. Detective Jenko, it would be kinder for all concerned if we just let this go away. And I could tell Michael that you handled the situation with the utmost discretion. Your friend, Sonny Corinthos, is a known mobster. He committed assault, and he's not going anywhere. I sit on the board of Winston Academy, the school in which Mr. Corinthos' daughter attends, and we have very strict standards. If Mr. Corinthos has ever been convicted of a crime... I have it, actually. Oh. You see, Mr. Corinthos is here at my invitation, so it falls on me to sort things out. Are you married? Yeah? What's that got to do with... Well, I would imagine living in the greatest city in the world that your wife enjoys a night out. Some favorite thing to do, something she drags you to. <sighs> she likes Broadway musicals. Of course she does. And you would rather be sitting at home watching a Yankees game, although it won't be the same without your Tori. No. Oh, it's the heart and soul of the team. Yes. I told George she was making a mistake letting Joe get away. You know Steinbrenner? Well, next time you see him, give him an earful for me. But you're a good husband, aren't you, detective? You indulge your wife, right? You take her to a show? Makes her happy. Yeah. Two seats, front row, center. Any Broadway musical of your choice. You're kidding. No. Please, it's the least I could do after this unfortunate event. Oh, you make me some kind of hero. And you would be saving my reputation. So, here is my assistant Clarice's number. I'll tell her to expect your call. Oh, uh, Krentos, you're free to go. All right. Uh, just a second. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell is going on in here? I didn't see any reason to hold him. Sonny Corinto shows up in our city and put a guy's head into a wall. Yeah, it was a New Year's party. You know, the guy had a few too many, few too many and he... Uh, tripped. Tripped. This is your version. No, 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 actually it's mine. You're his attorney. Oh, no. No, I'm a fashion editor and... What? And you are exactly the type that I am looking for. Just because I put on this uniform doesn't mean I go that way. Oh, no, no, I don't think I'm getting... I am all woman. Exactly. Uh, no, we are running um, a feature in Couture magazine. Couture? Right. And I'm Kate Howard. No, actually, I'm Kate Howard. Get out. Yeah, yeah, she's Kate Howard. I used to lift that magazine every month from the newsstand when I was in high school. Did I? <laughs> so this article we're doing is called Real World Chic, and we're taking five New York City women in highly stressful jobs, and we're giving them a complete wardrobe makeover. No matter what you see on TV, it is impossible to track down a perp in five-inch heels. Okay, see. See, that is exactly why we need a woman just like you to put high fashion to the real world test. That is, if if you have the time to schedule a fitting and come in for some test shoots. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Great. Well, you have my assistant Clarice's number. Give her a call. Oh, wait, oh, my friend. Turn Mr. Corinthos loose. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just not big on uh, 
jail cells. Well, which makes me wonder. What's that? Why you really attacked Jeffrey, knowing there'd be repercussions. I may dress better than I did in high school, but um, I never really left Bensoners, if you know what I mean. I'm still a street fighter. Mm, I don't remember you being a bully. The guy, he rubbed me the wrong way. He deserved what was coming. And the story... I'm sorry, Miss Howard, that I ruined your night. Mr. Corinthos, I just rescued you from NYPD lockup. It's really not nice to lie to me. I'm not lying. Fine. You're leaving out a large portion of the truth. Like, what prompted you to introduce Jeffrey's face to a wall at the art gallery? I told you what a radio was. A physically and imposing man. I lost my cool. Whose chief and... weapon is well, his big, things. fat, spiteful mouth. Jeffrey's too much of a coward to insult you directly, so I have to assume he was insulting me. Hmm? What? Rumors were flying around the art gallery of my possible return to Couture, and I know how Jeffrey's nasty little mind works. He was dishing dirt on me and probably said I was sleeping with Warren James to get my job back. You know what? I'm glad I ran his head into that wall. Damn straight. Okay, now I'm going to order you a nice meal. Um. What? Just, I got to say something. All this time I've, I've been thinking about you as, as Connie. Seeing the Bensonhurst grow beneath the high gloss finish. Making fun of what you've accomplished. Oh, it's because you know me like no one else. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that's not... I can see now that you, you it's not a put on, you, you, you're the real deal, I mean, you're confident, you're smooth, you're smart, you're connected, the way you played those cops, I mean, they, 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 they didn't know what hit them. I was playing them, the detective and his wife will get their tickets and the captain will get her photo session. What I'm saying is you, you have the power to get whatever you want in your world and uh, Now I can see why you're so determined to stay in it. Any chance you might stay in it with me? <laughs>